For the following exercise, evaluate the function f at the indicated values. First one will be f of negative 3. So um, basically what we need to do is I listed some steps out down here on the bottom left. And what we need to do first is basically just simply substitute uh, the indicated value of f of x for the f of x value in the equation that they gave you. All right, so that's going to be the first step. So first, before I even do that, I'm just going to rewrite the equation. So f of x is equal to absolute value of x minus 1 plus, oops, not plus, minus absolute value of x plus 1. All right. So first thing is, instead of f of x, now I'm going to write f of negative 3. That's the first step. After that, anywhere I see x on my right-hand side, I'm going to substitute in the value within the parentheses here, negative 3, because that's what the problem is saying. The problem is saying that for x, plug in negative 3. So let's do that. So there's going to be negative 3 minus 1, absolute value, minus, minus negative 3 plus 1. Evaluate the, or simplify now, the uh, absolute values first. So this is the absolute value of negative 4 minus absolute value of negative 2. Right? And just continuing on down here, this would be 4, and that's a minus 2. So this f of negative 3 is simply a value of 2. And that takes care of the first one, all right? Same process now with the second. So let's take a look. Rewrite the function f of x is equal to x minus 1 minus x plus 1. And here we have now f of negative, oops, sorry, it's f of 2 now, right? So f of 2, simply plug in the 2 anywhere you see x on the right-hand side. So it's 2 minus 1 minus 2 plus 1. f of 2 will then be... So this is uh, absolute value of 1 minus absolute value of 3. They're both positive, so this is just a simple subtraction. So it's going to be 1 minus positive 3, which is a negative 2. And that takes care of that one. Let's move on to the next. So this is now going to be number 3. Rewrite the function. f of x is equal to absolute value of x minus 1 minus x plus 1. All right. So here we have f now of the third uh, thing we need to do is uh, evaluate f of negative a. Now don't worry about this. Remember, whatever is in this parenthesis, whatever is in here, just gets substituted for whatever x is on the right-hand side. Even though it's not a number, it, we still trust the process. We follow the process. So here x is going to be negative a minus 1 minus absolute value of negative a plus 1. Okay, and now this is really all we can do. All right, I cannot combine, you know, the negative a and negative one. Um, I mean, I guess, you know what I could do? Well, what I could do for this one, but it's not really necessary. I could factor out a negative term here and then take the absolute value of that. It's really not necessary, though. Uh, for example, like parentheses, I would factor out a negative and make this a plus one now. Okay, minus then... And in this particular case, too, there's really nothing I can do. It's going to be negative a plus 1. So I can take the absolute value of this first thing, you know, if I want it. Um, so this is then going to be a plus 1 minus then absolute value of negative a, negative a plus 1. And I can't really get rid of that absolute value on the, on the other case. Um, I mean, I could, I guess, but we'll just leave it alone. All right. So... Um, that's good for that. Uh, number four. So let's take a look at number four. So now, uh, if we rewrite the equation, so this is f of x is equal to absolute value of x minus 1 minus x plus 1. What we now need to substitute is negative f of a. All right. So here we'll have f. So it's negative f of a value. Okay, but the first thing is, what they want us to do is they want us to find the negative of this whole thing. That's what they're asking us to do by saying that. So what I'm going to do is plug in a negative, and then my brackets, because I'm going to negate this whole thing. All right? Then what I'm going to do is plug in now my value of x they want me to evaluate it at. So that's a. Right? So now all I need to do is everywhere I see an x, plug in an a. Minus then a plus 1. And... All we now need to do is distribute if we if we need. We really don't. There's it. We can really leave it alone at this particular point. But if you wanted to distribute that negative sign, 
that would make this absolute value negative, and then that would make this absolute value positive, right? So it would be a plus one absolute value, basically I'm just bringing this to the front because it's positive, minus then absolute value of a minus one now, and that's all. Okay, so it just switches basically the, the positions and the signs of the two absolute value terms. And that should make sense because we took the, we negated it, right? And now lastly, and this one's going to get a little tricky in terms of where to place it. So let me try to do this uh, at the bottom here. So this will be number five. All right. I'm not going to rewrite this again just to save a little space, but now we need, I'm not meaning I'm not going to rewrite this just to save a little space. I'm just going to start plugging this in. Okay. So this is going to be F of A plus H. And now all we need to do is everywhere I see X in my equation, just substitute in A plus H. So no big deal, right? So I'm going to put a parenthesis. So this is a plus h. That's where x was. And that's going to be minus 1. Okay. And then minus absolute value. Here is another x. So write a plus h. Plug in your parentheses. Plus 1. And that's all. I mean, there's really nothing else I can do there um, in terms of factoring. So this would then be the final answer for number 5. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope this video helped. Give us a hand, hit that subscribe button, help us out, and we'll see you in the next question. Take care.